All right, so we'll do the Python version of solutions for this partial two exam. So let's uh, let's get us started. First, we're doing a function called distance. Uh, four parameters, which represent two points in space: uh, x1, y1 point was the first point, and x2, y2 is the second point. And then we'll calculate the distance between those two points. So let let's set that up. So let's save our file first. I've already got the C++ versions there. Let's do exam1.py. So we got it saved. So we're going to have to define a function. And it was called distancia. And it has four parameters, x1, y1, x2, and y2. So given that, our job is to calculate the distance between those two points. So if we think of those two points defining a triangle, where there's a base and a height, right angles, and the hypotenuse, um, then we're set. So right now, um, this returns a number. So let's just return 42, just so the function will compile. So remember, we always want to just write the function and then test our function. So um, I'm just going to write our main code right in the main part of the file, and I'm going to. Uh, do a test. So a test is going to do calculate distancia of 0 0.0, 0, 0, 0.0, so the origin to 3.0, 4.0. So if you remember, this defines a triangle with like 3, length 4, right angle, so the hypotenuse should be 5. All right, so that's what our test is. And then we'll print the value of that test, right? So let's save that. Let's run it and see how that works. So Python 3, you can see I was searching for Spotify on my Linux box, not playing it now. We don't want our YouTube video to be blocked. Uh, Exam1.py, 42, it's what we expected, so we're good. Now we actually have to do the work. So we need to get the distance, uh, the delta of x and the delta of y, square them, take the square root, and we're good. So let's see, we want a delta x, which is x2 minus x1. We want a delta y, which is y2 minus y1. And then we want to calculate the square roots. The answer will be the square root of delta x times delta x plus delta y times delta y. Now I could have squared them, but multiply them by each other. Now, this ain't going to work. We know that. So we're going to return the answer. Try this. We'll see if the answer is a squirt of dx. And it goes blah. I have no idea what squirt is. So squirt, if you remember, is from the math. Well, um, more. Let's see. So we got to do import. So there's two ways we could do this. We could do this import math. And then use math.square root and that works cool or we could specify well I don't need the whole math library I could say from math import squirt and that'll work as well bingo 